Let's take a look at managing mailbox protocols in Exchange using PowerShell. So the first thing is you'll either need to be working inside of the Exchange management shell or have an Exchange PowerShell session open. In my case, you can see I have an Exchange PowerShell session open. And if you're not sure how to do that, check out our SNP on opening an Exchange PowerShell session. So the first thing we'll take a look at is managing the protocols for a single mailbox. So to retrieve them, we use the get CAS mailbox commandlet and give it the name of the mailbox. This user has all of those access protocols enabled. So if we didn't like that, we use the set CAS mailbox commandlet and tell it which protocols we want to disable. So in this case, I'm splatting these settings to the CAS mailbox variable and telling it to disable ActiveSync, POP, and IMAP. So we'll pass that variable to the set CAS mailbox. And then we use the get CAS mailbox to verify. And we can see that now this user only has OWA and MAPI enabled. And of course, since we're working in PowerShell, it's important to mention that we can manage a lot of mailboxes at once. For instance, if you wanted to disable POP and IMAP for all mailboxes, you simply pipe get mailbox to the set CAS mailbox commandlet and set both to false. And it is telling me here that the settings of the Jerry Smith user were not modified. And that's because we already disabled those two protocols earlier. So now I'm going to pipe the output of get CAS mailbox to the group object commandlet so I can look at all of my mailboxes hop enabled property. We can see that all 62 mailboxes have pop enabled set to false. I'll do the same thing for IMAP enabled. And again, we can verify all of them are set to false. So if we wanted to get a little more specific than all mailboxes, we can of course use the where object commandlet to do some filtering. So I'm piping get mailbox to where object and only returning mailboxes that are resources and then setting them to have OWA disabled. So now we can look at those mailboxes to verify by piping get mailbox and again filtering for the resource mailboxes using the where object commandlet. And then piping that to the get CAS mailbox and then grouping it by the OWA enabled property. And I can see here that out of my 53 resource mailbox, all of them have OWA enabled set to false. So that's how you manage mailbox protocols in Exchange using PowerShell.